Huh? Isn't that music beautiful? The music of the season. Christmas Carol, that's my season. May not be yours, but that's mine. That's okay if it's not yours. Anyway, hi dolls, it's your Aunt Lena. I know I haven't been with you for a long time. And you're probably wondering why. It's because that Aunt Louise, that great niece of mine, she's been keeping me locked up in my suitcase. She won't let me out. Just because she's training people in healthcare to do that EMR stuff, you know, electronic medical records, she thinks she's a big shot. Now, I won't tell you which one it is because we don't want to do no product placement here, but it's the big one. And she's training everybody all over to use it. But guess what? Now she lets me out of the box because it's Christmas time and we got to make her the Zapalas and we got to make her the Stolen and we got to make her the Ravioli. So she wants me out of the box now, huh? Just because she wants me to work. And here's the other thing. She's feeling a little anxious about all the things she has to do. So she needs my wisdom because, of course, I'm old. I know everything, almost. You know what I mean? Just one thing I want to tell you, though. She's training those people with the EMRs, electronic medical records. She's training doctors and nurses and techs and hawks and medical assistants. And maybe she has a nice young doctor for me, for my fourth husband. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, that was just a little aside. So back to Anne Louise. She's feeling kind of anxious about things these days. She has a lot to do. So I tell her, Anne Louise, here's what you got to do. You got to stay present. You know what that means? You got to just pay attention to what you're doing right this second, like watching me. Put all your attention on me. And if you do that, then you can't think of nothing else. You can't think of the future. You can't think of the past. You can't go future tripping and you can't go past tripping. You can just be right here and now. Sometimes for the holidays, that's a really important thing to do because sometimes we start thinking about the holidays that were bad or the holidays we have no more or the holidays we might have in the future. Like I've been thinking, you know, when I have my fourth husband, it'll be so good. No, you just got to stay present right here and now for what you're feeling right here and now. And if a thought comes into your head, I tell her this. About the future or the past, just make it, just say, no, I'm not going to think that. I'm just going to think now. I'm listening to Aunt Lena and I'm feeling good. That's all you got to do. Now, okay, well, a couple more things. Try that. Then you has got to take three deep breaths. Mm. Oh, breathe all the way in, make your belly expand. Mm. And all the way out. They say when you take deep breaths like that, it does something special to your brain. This is all based on research. You know I'm all based on research. It's all based on research. And it makes you feel better and relaxed right away. Three deep breaths would do it. If you have time, do some more. A couple more deep breaths. It makes you, maybe eight deep breaths if you could. You can do that anywhere I tell her. When she's walking around the house, training those people, the EMRs, whatever, when she's cooking, she can do it to make herself feel better. Okay, you can do it too. And then the other thing you got to say this, like Julian of Norwich said, she was like some mystic, probably Italian from the 15th or 14th century, maybe the 13th, I don't even remember. She says, all is well, all is well, and all will be well. Isn't that so easy to remember? So you do the three deep breaths. <sighs> you say, all is well, all is well, all will be well, and you stay present. And if you do that, you're going to have a wonderful, joyful time almost every single day. And then you'll be making your zapolis, and you'll be making your raviolis, and you'll be making your manigots, and you're going to have time to do all of those things. So dolls, if you need any more information about that, give me a call or email me. I love to talk about this stuff on the telephone. Meanwhile, I'll keep trying to help that Anne Louise do the same thing, and I'll try to make her keep me out of the suitcase so I can be with you more. Mwah. Ciao, bellas.